Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a 5% weight per volume uh, sucrose solution. So what that means is I'll be weighing out 5 grams of sucrose, and then I'll be dissolving it uh, into a total volume of 100 mils. So to start, we have to weigh it out on the balance. So obviously when you first walk over to a balance, is it's going to be off. So the first step is we're going to turn on our balance. And then we're going to place the weigh boat on the balance. And then we're going to hit tear. So what tear will do is it will then zero the machine. So you should see 0, 0.00 if you're using this type of balance. Uh, if you don't see all zeros, then you're going to want to hit tear again. All right, now that it's at zero, zero, we can weigh out the sucrose. So remember, we want to get to five grams. And we're at 5.19, so for uh, this demo, that will be close enough. And then today we are going to use a volumetric flask. It is one of the most accurate instruments that we have available to us in the lab. And this will allow us to accurately measure up to a hundred mils. They do come in a variety of sizes. So we're then going to place a funnel on top of the flask. And then we are going to pour our sucrose in. So next what we want to do is we want to dissolve the sucrose before bringing it up to 100 mils. So to make sure though I got all the sucrose in off the weigh boat, I'm going to wet the weigh boat. I'm then going to wet the funnel just to make sure I get all that sucrose in. And then next I will slowly add water to it and here I'm using deionized water to get it into solution. So I'll add some water, mix. So as you can see, the majority of the sucrose is now in solution. So then the next step is to bring it up to final volume. And there's a little uh, marking, which I know is hard to see on the video, indicating uh, how high I need to add the water. And you want the bottom of the meniscus to be touching that line. If it's not, then you don't have accurate uh, volume and you would either have to add a little bit more if the meniscus is under or if the meniscus is over the line, you will then have to redo it. So as you can see here, I have brought it up to the final volume, and that meniscus is touching, the bottom of the meniscus is touching that line, which means I don't have to repeat it. So then there, it calls for one final mixing step. So to do that, we'll put our glass stopper on top of it, holding your thumb like so on top of it, you will then invert and then you will mix, making sure that air bubble is on top there. You'll then go back down, and we will do this three times. And there we go. We have accurately made a 5% weight per volume sucrose solution. Uh, thank you for watching.